got Street Fighter moves in it. Well, the first thing to say is read it. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Just make sure you do. And it's got and power uh, ups. And yeah, and it's got quite possibly the coolest gay guy in it ever. Um, Crazy Paris is a guy fighting for love, I suppose. The movie guys are kind of pushing it to be kind of video games in a in a realistic setting, kind of that aesthetic. But I've always felt that the video game stuff is a very small part compared to what is a really great kind of slice of life story and a very well written one at that. And it's about a guy fighting his seven uh, his girlfriend seven evil exes. Scott Pilgrim's a massive movie for comic book fans. It reaches the cinemas this week for um, the UK and Mark as a filmmaker um, and a film fan you've seen the movie what did you think I thought it was incredible I thought it was absolutely amazing I um, I thought I might be out of my depth because I wasn't uh, like I said the reverse engineering approach I have to yeah. comic books through watching the movies first thing going wow I wish I knew more um, which is embarrassing I know uh, uh, but uh, I, I thought it was incredible I, I kind of thought I'd be a bit lost uh, when the movie sort of, you know, going by the trailers. Um, and I saw the film, and as soon as the Universal logo started, which is like one of the most amazing <laughs> yeah, experiences yeah. I've had in the cinema. A lot of movies do this, where they do their own version of the company logo, but yeah. this is one of the coolest ones I've yeah. ever seen. Before, before, well, less than a second, I yeah. was like, I get this. Yeah. <laughs> in less than a second, I don't think it's happened in a movie before. Um, so yeah, I was, I was really on board, and yeah, I'm, I'm an Edgar Wright fan as well, yeah. um, as is everyone else, of course. And uh, yeah, I thought it was absolutely incredible. Um, I just love, I love the humour, I love the characters, definitely. It's just such got, got a good mix of video game stuff and manga style stuff, and it's, it's just, it's, and it's, yeah, at the same time, it's quite grounded in reality, you know, it's very, definitely very, it speaks a lot to 20 somethings, I think. There's a lot of things about this movie that are very cool. I think the, one of the best things is that whilst it is different to the books, it's faithful to the books, it's faithful to the spirit of the books, you know what I mean? As someone who read and enjoyed all six versions of um, six volumes of Scott Pilgrim, I left that movie feeling like, okay, that is a movie that whilst it adapted the source material, respected and revered, honoured the, the source material yeah. as well, and I, I really enjoyed it as a kind of an adaptation uh, of a comic book, you know, sometimes, not something you can say of all kind of comic book yeah. adaptations. It's something you want to because the, the worst thing is uh, you have faith that, that this is going to be done in a way that's respectful to the source yeah. material, and in many ways it's, it's going to bring a lot of people to the source material, and, and when the source material is let down in a way that, like, Judge Dredd was, sure. it's almost yeah. insulting, and even though, you know, like I said, the reverse engineering approach yeah. I have to this, um, um, like even even I can see, wow, Judge Dredd is, is terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible movie, and uh, and it's 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 not what you really want. You just want to see something that's got a lot of heart in it, a lot of care. And, yeah. and I love the way that the movie didn't ever stop yeah. its style to get an emotional response out of the audience. It's sure. an amazing moment, uh, without ruining it at all, where, where Scott's like banging his head against uh, like yeah. a telegraph pole, <laughs> and the style is kept up. And I found it brilliantly. It was amazingly sad, but at the same time kind of funny, and it just works so well that, that, that you're really absorbed into that world. The style doesn't take over, it complements. I'm the Marsh from Direct Edition, and I'm here with the great Mr. Brian Lee O'Malley, writer and creator of Scott Pilgrim. I reckon this has been quite effective movie, you've been up with the movie. Yeah, yeah, it's been the most hectic week uh, I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, London with it, yeah. Um, my first main question is the, the artwork surrounding your books. It's very, very surreal. And what's the inspiration behind the style of your art? Oh, you know, a lot of things. Um, you know, I, I read a lot of Japanese comics, um, especially like the you know, older stuff from the 70s and 80s, you know, the Song of Tezuka and stuff like that. Um, but also, you know, Jamie Hewlett, you know, ah, Jeff Smith, yeah. you know, a lot of contemporary guys too. Excellent, excellent. And I, and I, the biggest question I have for you is, is what is it like as a creator of something that started out, I guess, as a, as, a, as a cult comic, and then all of a sudden it's on a beast screen in, in I guess, Left the Square? What's that like for you? It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's magnificent. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, it yeah, you know, it's, yeah, you know, it's been like five years, so I've had a little bit of time to get used to it. So, um, but, you know, it's, it's incredible. I, you know, I, I can't imagine it having been any better. You know, I had right in, in the past. It's just it's completely amazing. That's absolutely excellent. They're amazing books, definitely go check them out if you haven't seen the movie. Uh, I'm the master for direct edition, Brian Leo Manny. Thanks for watching. Wallace or Kim, definitely. I think those two are great. Uh, knives! Yeah, knives. Knives <laughs> are cool.
young Neil. I think his character arc is very great and interesting. Yeah, Wallace, I just like his like, witty humour and think about him, it's really good. It's a movie you really want to see. Um, it looks great, the graphic design elements of it are great, the music content of it is great, which I think is a real difficult thing seeing as the music suggested by the comic book without ever being real, so they've actually realised this thing that wasn't ever really um, in the comic, it was in the comic book without being, you know, you never actually heard it before, so, yeah, you know, it's, it's that translated so well, the sound design was one of the best sound designs I've heard in any film, it's, yeah. it's just outstanding. Yeah. Right, and uh, a movie that I know that The Expendables is kicking ass in the American cinema at the moment, and um, they're worried that Scott Pilgrim might not make its budget back on the, its kind of initial theatrical release. I think that it's going to be, it's going to grow into a, a massive cult movie that people will watch for years and years. Yeah, I hope this, if this really is successful, I really do, because I mean, it deserves it more than any other film I've seen in a long, long time, it deserves it. Yeah, it's a cool, much cool like closure, man. I, I'm pretty cool with it. I mean, I think that the ending for it is the best ending it could have been for it. You just get good closure for all the characters and a great battle scene, so I'm cool with it. So check it out, Scott Pilgrim is in cinemas in the UK from the 24th of August. Um, thanks Mark for talking to us. Thank you very much, thank you for having me. You're welcome.